Hello and welcome back to Slice and Dice. I return once again. I'm doing Slice and Dice first. I just kind of like doing Slice and Dice first in the day. I don't know. It's Wild Frost is taxing. Slice and Dice is uh, like sometimes hard as well, but I think easier than the hardest Slice and Dice runs. So, uh, or yeah, I think I said that correctly. Anyway, let's get to it, shall we? We got a little basic today. Um. Thief, Fighter, Defender, Mystic, Mage. I don't have a strong feeling about third turn Militia. I think Small Bonus and Bot Blank are both pretty bad. Small Bonus is just like an absolutely never because this curse can have a hard lose condition if you see triple graves and you don't have a team that can kill graves, which you don't always get. Bot Blank is... It just makes it so that you're more likely to XXX, XXX, which is what kills you. I think is six X's in a row. Pun Pun likes shield response, but I do not like shield response very much. I think third turn militia is fine. I'm cautious of the third turn curses, but militia is one of the easier enemies to have on the third turn spawns. Because you can just like shield five and cheat them away. So I think it's okay, but you want to think about it and be sure, in my opinion. And I think it's okay. I think we'll be all right with it. It's just a little bit... Uh, the third turn curses in general, I think, are a little scary in the first boss. Because they can outpace you a little bit. But this starting team is good enough that we'll get away with it, I believe. Herbalist is good. I think that Mystic is probably the weakest member of this team. So, Herbalist it is. I'm not as big of a Pilgrim fan as most people are. That is the, the big thing there. I don't think Pilgrim is great. I think Pilgrim is okay. 4 HP on my top and bottom character. I actually shouldn't lock one shield because I'm gonna kill a wolf here no matter what. Yeah. And sometimes it's better. Sometimes fighter rolls two damage there basically, which is better. I mean, one damage would even be fine. I would save one mana, but it basically doesn't matter. We're gonna see our first militia here, and I am going to aim to just poison this wolf and let him die. And I should probably have banked a little mana because the best way to kill third turn militia is going to be to have three mana banked that way i can just go like burst burst off of a one mana roll but we'll see what we can do here hmm. sometimes i'm gonna have to kill him normally i guess we have to start thinking about it when the rolls are looking like this i have four shields so if you're only a two it's fine yeah it's fine i'm gonna still aim to kill the rat uh, we have two turns before the third or the second militia comes in, and there's just no way it rolls badly for me. Yeah, no problem. Just gotta- I have to have a healthy amount of fear that this can snowball away from me. That's all. Knife bag, our item. I think knife bag is actually kind of a bait. I really don't like these pain items anymore. And sorry, this is what knife bag does. And then our item, vitality to the bottom side, is pretty mid. I'll go random. Boltus is great. I think this is a very, very good tier one. Heal one single cast for one mana. It's a one hit use of Witch's Salve, which is good in the early game. In the late game, less good. But we're not in the late game, are we? Now, I am normally very defensive these days. I have shifted a lot from the old style of just sending it fast. But I think that in third turn curse setups, you need to be a little more aggro and you need to be willing to let characters die in order to win. Cleric is good. This is a sort of idea, right? Cleric is normally not my favorite pickup, but she is good here because Cleric has good sides and Ranger is not. Ranger's damage output expected damage is actually lower than Thief's, I think, in a fight like this. And we'll send it. My damage here should be fine. I'm not afraid of Bramble. We have good damage from Thief. We have good damage from Mage. We have Poison. I think Poison is the biggest Bramble killer. And we have Single Use Mana, which is good as well. Yeah, you're dead. It's mostly what kills you on Bramble is if the... If, like, a third turn enemy spawns in or if an extra enemy spawns in and you've lost all your sides already. That's where it can go wrong. But... All good. No problem. And I think third turn curses are the scariest in that fight, and then in maybe like basalt. But uh, by basalt, we should be strong. Uh, 
Okay, so big hammer. You can click this and say it's good for roulette, but I think it actually ruins what's good about roulette, which is that roulette has no X's. And I will take a random as a result. I'm not a huge fan of big hammer. Garnet for plus one to incoming healing? Sure. Uh, it's whatever. I, I don't really feel anything about it. it. I think it's better than big hammer, but it's very subjective. I could take the cleanse here, actually. If I roll it twice, like first roll, I can reroll for mana. Second roll, uh, I'm not risking an X out of Cleric. Cleric's double X's, so you don't want to take that risk. And then we can let this guy die of poison, because we cleansed his damage. Or we cleansed his weaken, rather. So we don't have to care too much. It's just a it's a thought now of if we let him if, if we maximize poison damage, we might be able to dodge the, the spawn here. Like so. You know, I can also just kill him. Goblin, triple illusion, snake, goblin. Juggler is good. I think Maiko is fine. Juggler's high damage, high risk, high reward. Uh, we should be sending it fast though. And I'm gonna give juggler plus one to healing. It's good with the vine too, if my juggler has an incident. You know, a little X and the cow drop into X. Now, if you hate juggler, I want you to know that one of the problems you may be facing is in this position, you might be pressing reroll. I was this person, I lost a streak to it. I think if, with juggler, if you ever hit a two, you should lock. Uh, there are like, it, it's, it's a simple way to look at it, right? There is more nuance to it than that. But the basics of it are if you ever hit the two damage side with juggler, just lock it. Unless you like really, really need something else. Like you're fighting a Hydra and you need Juggler to hit one more time or something like that. But general rule, two damage from Juggler is the only thing that's going to be good is if you hit the two damage and a lot of hit the two damage again, right? Because one damage is equal to two damage when you're rolling one damage can trip. So just press the two. You'll have a lot more success. It's also like removing the chance that you rolled as Caltrop. Learn Balance or Scalpel. I think Scalpel is pretty mid, but we could always mimic it onto someone with a tier 5. Like, we could get the Emerald. Is it worth it as a result of that? I don't think so, but it isn't bad. I don't love Balance. One to all enemies, heal one to all allies. It's kind of whatever. I'm willing to play Scalpel. I think it's okay to make this a 2 poison. We don't have a great matchup into Militia, Bandit, Militia. Although if my my Cleric lands this three heal shield, it makes it a little easier. I need two mana from my mage. Yeah, I high rolled super hard here. I'm just gonna lock the one. I don't think you need to do anything too crazy because one damage is better than zero damage. Oh, but I don't need this shield. You can reroll that. That's fine. We want to keep Juggler's health higher, because, you know, she's going to juggle herself otherwise. But, yeah, one damage is better than zero damage, or one self damage out of Juggler there, so I'll just take the one. Puts the bandit to two HP. And I think... Ah, look at that. I'll just lock this. You could reroll it there, because I'm in a winning position anyway. That's the sort of reroll where if you press it, it doesn't matter, so do whatever you like. Collector Caldera. Caldera scale or synergizes super well with everything we have here, and Collector is one of the worst characters in the game, so I think I'll pick Caldera. Caldera synergizes with Juggler putting damage out, Cleric having extra mana gain, and uh, I think that's about it. But and that's all you need, really. Extra mana gain through Cleric and Juggler offering spread damage for Scald value is good enough for me. I'm going to press Scald because it's 3 mana equals 4 damage. The only time you don't want to Scald is if you really need priority damage, which we do not need priority damage here. If the Fnatic rolled a 4, we would consider differently. That's, that's the tech, or the understanding, rather. If Fnatic rolled the 4, he's going to be harder to guarantee die in that position. But that fight was a stall. I am down to play Whiskers with Juggler. It's pretty good. I had this item hard carry me not too long ago too. Sorry, I'm I'm right clicking. Demon eye. Whiskers. A lot of keywords on whiskers. I'm gonna take whiskers. I think this item is good. Uh, you can put it on juggler and then it's no X's and juggler can just always roll down, which is interesting. But I don't love missing this too. I think I'd rather fighter it. Because fighter will always get the count the cantrip. 
uh, halfway in my mind between Cantrip and Caltrop there. Fighter will always get this Caltrop or Cantrip. Oh my god. Uh, unless Juggler just rolls like an X. But that's not super likely, I suppose. Oh, I don't have a Scald. Good idea to set up for Scald here. One small problem with that. But yeah, if you put it on Juggler, sometimes she'll roll like copycat, 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 and then you won't get any value out of the the, the side, out of the, the cantrip, the whiskers. So you put it on Fighter instead. Sorry, I don't know what the hell is wrong with me. This thought is just impossible to finish. Imp, double carrier, imp. Yeah, there's my guy. Whirl and I, we're bros after the last run. That's, that's my boy right there. Unfortunately, I'm going to click on Berserker, but I just want you to know, that's my boy right there. He and I, we're cool. We're chill like that. He's kind of my goat. He saved me when no one else would. When all looked so dire. I actually think I shouldn't be locking one damage mana gain. I'm going to lock this two cleanse shield for Berserker. We don't have a great team for stopping Berserker from berserking himself. Uh, and he should probably end up being the one with the self-healing. Really? Oh, that's not great. I thought if I killed that, he would be... What happened? Oh, he takes five. He's minus one. Yeah, that's true, actually. Okay, it's fine. I'm going to use the light here to give Juggler an extra plus one. There's not a lot to cleanse in this fight. That's not entirely true. There's double poison, but I should win on the next turn, or at least be in a winning position on the next turn. Heal shield three. This cleric is too good. You're too good to me, cleric. I will see a militia here almost certainly. This is just too much HP to try to chew through. Uh, we can just pop this guy. Heal shield three berserker. And hold on, I can do a scald here, which is a lot better. A lot better. I'm one off, like one off of lethal type better. That's okay though. Uh, I'm not afraid of this militia. This is the point of like third turn militia. In a lot of fights, they're gonna come in and then just leave immediately. This guy has nothing. Wow, I actually hit. That's crazy. So I don't believe in this play. I don't think that this is something you should really be planning for, but sometimes it's gonna pan out and you're gonna go, wow, that's cool. So the, the trick here is, sorry, I'll show you these mini crossbow polished emerald. The tier three items are very good, but I took scalpel because it has a slight upside in the herbalist. And sometimes you hit this polished emerald. And now this polished emerald is just a tier eight item built into my tier, tier five. It's just plus one damage to all sides. That's the tech here. I can just turn this Caldera into two damage mana gain if I want. And that's kind of good too. The problem is that he doesn't have anything good to copycat here. Uh, I kind of want to do like, uh, so the main thing is that the Whiskers has to go on one of these three characters so that it's before the scalpel in order. I could do I think I do this, and then we get Garnet on both of these characters. That seems good. I could also take off the Whiskers and make this guy 2 damage mana gain, but I think this is a little better. Because we have 2 damage and 3 damage cantrips, and then 2 damage cap copycats, which we could copycat mana gain for. That seems like it's a very good high roll. Or, yeah, we can copycat 2 damage mana gain here. We can go like boom, boom, 4... One scald. Sorry, my fault. Poison. There you go. That seems decent. Keeper or fate? Fate is very, very good. But I think with double, I think cleric is weak, weak, and we have double copycat characters, so we just take the keeper here. Yeah, we can copycat steal on the berserker or on the juggler and just start killing things very easily. Two damage can trip. Uh, the only shame here is that I don't have light. But that's okay. Oh, got it. I was really confused on why I got mana there. I hit Baron. Got it. 
I'll roll one more. I'm locking in here because I'm pretty sure I have a kill on Baron if I want it. I totally do. Yeah. Not even close. Not even a question. And I'll just throw it. Well, I don't have to throw it here. Baron was a high roll fight for me too. We're very good in the Baron. I think the Lich would have been a pain. But, uh, yeah. Looking good to me. I'm gonna take this first. Lich's eye. Interesting. This is the like patron saint of just sending it. Lich's eye. Here's here's what they do. We get plus one pip to the left sides or plus two mana gain and death to all sides. Lich's eye is the patron saint of just fucking running it down and blitzing enemies. And it's pretty good. We have the keeper tech. And I could see it. I think this item wins. I'm pretty sure it wins, but it's a little scary. All monsters minus one max HP, all heroes minus two max HP. This is terrible. Uh, just think about this in terms of what the scariest part of this run is, which is the hand. Taking the hand to 49 HP is not worth losing 10 HP on my team. That's my take. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the Whiskers... I want to take the Whiskers off of Berserker. So I could just do this. That's okay. And I'm just going to let Berserker send it. Once Juggler's gone, we can reorganize, but Cantrip Death is not something that I want particularly much. And in this fight, I might not even need my Berserker to send it. I don't think he has to die here. But I want him to have the opportunity. Blue, yellow... Okay, doesn't matter. Scald. Yeah, I don't need to kill him. I'm gonna avoid killing him if I don't need to. I'm 100% sure I win this fight on this turn. Without anyone dying. Uh, I guess Caldera could roll triple X's, so I shouldn't be 100% sure. But, yeah. Agent or eccentric? Well, this is definitely agent. We don't have to pretend. You roll berserker? No. Nah. Okay. Uh, so, quad use here, of course. I'm pretty sure this Lich's Eye just became obsolete. Because we can run it like this. Oh, uh, this isn't great. I want to play Polished Emerald. I, I, I want to play Polished Emerald on Agent, but I can't actually play Polished Emerald Whiskers, can I? That's the issue. Because I'd like to do Polished Emerald plus Whiskers and then get the Whiskers quad use. That is really good. But I think it's better to just play... Now, uh, you know what? It probably is just best to do this. Right? Because you can do, like... And maybe Lich's Eye here? I think it's something along these lines. And we just run these guys down. Because we can do massive damage off of this. It's been a long time since I played like this. If I if it looks bad, maybe I just run back and we don't do it. But I think that I crunch these enemies super hard. Shield for repel is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the steel side. But we don't necessarily, again, have to play the steel side. One, two, three. And then it's like one, two, three. And we do 17 damage steal. It is like, you know, is it the right idea? I don't know. Charge link is pretty good, but I can just glass heart agent and we can get off of this horrific idea. But I make so much mana for charge link here. I'm going to go for it. I think charge link liches I locks me into this idea and we will be okay. If they're dying every turn anyway. Inflict, inflict death. No, thank you. Charge link me. I want to roll for the copycat, I suppose. Yeah. Maybe a quad use, maybe something else. Because, like, inside of me, there's two wolves right now. One of them is telling me to play the nice normal line, and then the other one is telling me to just fucking launch myself into the sun. And I gotta tell you, it's been a long time since I launched myself into the sun. It feels kind of good. 
Captain Kronos. Kronos has mana gain for charge link. Captain is... He's like, okay. I don't know. I'll go Kronos. I think it's fine. Reroll Berserker. No, I don't want to reroll Berserker. Stop asking. I think the, the through line is pretty clear here. Uh, we just need to roll Copycat and Death Steal, but I can't. I can't let go of this fucking eat damage death wish, I don't know. It just it actually just straight up kills Troll King. I lock that shit and it's over, so I think it's fine. Tusk Tower Shield. Tusk would have been good if I picked up Fate, but I did not. Plus one to heals and shields or replace the middle side with shield twenty-eight heavy. I'll take a random. Boots of speed? Alright. Here's boots of speed for you. Plus one reroll, replace the left side with dodge. It's fine. Agent gives me plus one reroll is good. Let's me hit my combos a little more frequently. I don't really know what I'm doing at this point, but I'm kind of just going and it's working. With charge link, I think I'm locked in on this idea. I think it is for sure winning. But it's still scary, because it's off normal play. I go Doctor. I think Wanderer is very good, but I'm pretty sure that the best thing to play here is probably Berserker. Because he has the Death Wish side. And I think Doctor is very good. You know, two damage to all poison. It really fits with the theme of just fucking launching ourselves here. I want to... So the problem I face here is I can go XX from this position and it's not out of the question. So I want to be careful about not... About unlocking, like rolling here. It ends up fine, but you still got to be careful about it. Right, we can go... One, two, boom, boom. Three. And then... I don't know. Like, just kill. But does it really matter? Probably not. You could have done that? No, you couldn't have, buddy. Don't lie to yourself. The rest of the team just ends up sitting here going, huh? Where'd those guys go? I'm a power Eye of Horus. Eye of Horus agent is very safe. It adds a lot of stability. I'm a power keeper is fun. I'm gonna go home a power keeper. I'm having fun. It's a good time out here. I, I think that Lich's Eye maybe is just the best item for, or one of the better items for hard. I think that this thing is horrific for unfair, but it does seem to do pretty well. That'll do. Because it's just like you set up like this. I don't even need to think about it too much, you know? You just go like boom. You know, ah, boom. Heal to... I don't actually think I have lethal here, though. Not quite. Oh, wait, no, it is exact lethal. That was fight 19. Oh, Hexia stands no fucking chance against me here. Good god. That's not very fair. I'll go curator, I guess. Because charged is charged. You can go curator here. Char charged is charged, is my reasoning. He's most likely going to copycat, but we can also play charged if we don't hit the copycat side. Hexia is very unfair. Uh, it is not a good fight for her. I'm gonna lock the two poison to all. It's kind of cool. Yeah, okay. Ouch. <laughs> Agree. Can we just go like boom, two, three, field, burst, burst, burst. Oh fuck, it's Hexia, I forgot. Stop beating, when did you die? Oh, because it's death, yeah, of course. Ooh, I need to actually be careful I don't lose here. Hold on. I, if I just spam burst there, I think I might have died. Thank god I have doctor. I might have actually lost and, like, had all my units die before the pain mirror killed me. Or died to the pain mirror, I guess, before I killed her. Yeah, uh, Lich's Eye Keeper. It works out. It, this is an, a, definitely an older style of gameplay, but... The game showed it to me, and it was good. I think without Keeper, I wouldn't play it, because Keeper is a very good Lich Eye holder. Steel Shield 7 with Copycat on deck is solid. That's my thesis. Thanks for watching.
if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.